Good evening, dear audio wizards and fellow music makers. As recently, I saw some people debating online about whether it was possible or not to distinguish an MP3 from a WAV file, I decided to put myself to the test. In order to do this test in the hardest conditions possible, I started from WAV files that I converted myself using LAME encoder, which is the best encoder so far, encoded at 320 kilobits per second in a constant bitrate using quality check. And the audio files have all, the original audio files have all been exported at minus one decibel true peak because as I mentioned in a previous video, the true peak level has an impact in the artifacts that are added by the MP3. So all the original files are WAV files at minus one decibel true peak. So I renamed them, I, re I removed the extension of the file type and I put in a random order a number one or a number two in front of them so that there was no way to distinguish them just watching at the finder. I added two folders and I will sort them real time in one or the other folder and we will open the folder at the end to see how many I did wrong or how many I did right. For some copyright issues, of course, I will play the whole test phase faster so that YouTube doesn't strike me with some copyright issues. So without any further ado, let's dive into the test. All right, so let's get started. So first track here. All right, so let's have a look at the folder. And now, what does it say? Yeah, all these, 17, 17. Uh, maybe this one, maybe I had two wrong, wait, let's, let's, let's check. Yeah, I had two wrong. So 20% wrong in this case. Well, I still think it rests my case that you can pick them out most of the time. And I'm pretty sure that the two ones that I got wrong are the ones that had less transients and less low end. Let's check it out for a second. Indeed. Well, so I hope uh, this was helpful. And to be honest, the difference is not crazy. So. Even if you can hear a difference, I wouldn't stress out. And I think as far as I'm concerned, for myself, I'll still keep playing MP3 320 kilobits per second audio files for my DJ sets. But of course, if you are producing music, if you want to use proper audio files for your own production, I can only advise using WAV files. And I think this wraps it up. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.